shadow gun from China. 110 volts to uh, 60 watts. Then you have temperature setting from 200 to 450. I uh, should set it to 350 instead. But uh, okay, here we go. You see that throttle, then pull back. My, uh, my, uh, potentiometer is not, you see that? Now that's neutral. Uh-oh. But uh, at least it's controlling the shaft to go as I turn the knob. So I need to tighten this a little bit. But uh, it's working, as you can see here. As you can see. I turn the knob and I need to tighten this because right now it's just uh, experimentation right here you know but at least uh, it's doing it look so that's my Arjuno board this is the PWM I turn counterclockwise it's gonna push the, mo uh, the uh, throttle forward and then pull back forward oops so I need, like I said, I need to um, bend this a little bit more so it doesn't pop out. See that? As I turn this knob, that, well, nice. So I, I need to force this not pop out and that's the goal see that because when it when it pushes out and then this um, this hook is not uh, in the right position and then it it pops out so but at least uh, right now this is working so what I have here I'll show you what I have here what I have here is a yellow wire to the signal to my digital pin 9 as you can see there okay digital pin 9 and my PWM the right hand side the the most right or the top one the top wire is going to the 5 volts and the middle one is the green wire is going into the analog as you can see this analog is not quite inserted that's why I'm getting these fuzzy the motor is fuzzy a little bit but uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna unsolder this middle wire because that's just too thick it won't go into a zero the analog is zero but when it's connected a solid then I can totally control this arm you know again that's not solid so and the the bottom wire is the ground wire okay bottom wire is the ground wire so now I can control this arm as it should okay so and uh, this Arjuno Uno bore is connected uh, by this uh, plug that I got um let me disconnect this too that I got um from my uh a, an outlet at home okay so basically I just cut it cut this cut this um cut this cable here and then extended it with the uh, positive as you can see here positive and uh, 
negative. And then we come down here. Arduino power. Arduino power positive is clamped onto this guy here and then onto this uh, regulator here, the positive. And then the negative is uh, tied to this regulator into there and then out to the Arduino outlet or the uh, plug. And then I'm going to show you something here. This is a regular that takes the 12 volts power because these are 12 volts so if I check the voltage from the in uh, terminal of the regulator it should say 12 volts but when it come out of it I have it converted to 9 volts and all it has is this, this button here when I uh, insert the screwdriver here and then I can turn that knob compared to my other video but uh, um, that's how this is uh, working so let me show you in a sec so I'm gonna connect this to positive here okay because this is going to my Arduino and the negative to the negative here that should read 9 volts as it is you can see there 9.03 volts so that is the 12 volts to 9 volts to power my Arduino uh, using this this power plug and this power plug is actually something that I have from my house laying around I got so many of these uh, uh, power plug this is actually a power plug that converts that connected it to a converter from 120 volts or 110 volts AC power to DC power okay so I just cut the, the power off so this is where I can plug into the Arduino Uno uh, board as you can see here the Arduino Uno board uh, This is the power terminal takes this port perfectly as you can see here see as soon as I plug this in and then it, it's it's on I already loaded the the, the knob uh, KNOB program in here, so it's burned in, in here That's why as soon as I have power that program is going to run so I can use my uh, potentiometer to control my uh, servo motor and then um, let me show you something uh, and then so this uh, bottom regulator is 12 volts to 9 volts and the top one is 12 volts to 6 volts and let's test okay so I'm gonna um, use my voltmeter to show you that will get me the six volts there we go you see 6.03 volts see that 6.03 volts so this is hook up to the breadboard here basically this vertical line here is giving me the 12 volts because I have the 12 volts positive going to the breadboard positive here and the 12 volts negative going to the 12 volts negative here you know that's why this straight line this vertical line is positive 12 volts negative 12 volts so that's taking the 12 volts this is a regulator that converts the 12 volts to 6 volts and the 6 volts I have them linked to the wire to power my servo motor the high-tech which is this guy here high-tech HS 485HB so this is the servo motor the positive wire and the negative wire I just extended it with these two wires and the you can see here that uh, with that rest strip white and red strip that's a positive and the black is connected to this total white uh, wire so that uh, come back to down to here as you can see I have the uh, I have the red stripe wire inserted into the positive column of the breadboard 
that gives me the six votes. Notice that I'm not using, I'm not um, connecting on this side. This is the nine votes, positive and negative. I'm actually extending these wires. These two short wires, they're not inserted into the breadboard because this column here, this column here, six volts and negative is giving me six volts which I don't want because I want to have nine volts and my servo motor to take the six volts so this way I can uh, power the servo motor anyway so uh, that's it. Um, you know it's pretty uh, portable and I'm just gonna somehow so what I'm gonna do is um, in my next video going to program this Arduino um, so that I got more wire but I'm going to take care of this this uh, this incorrect this too thick I'm going to take that out uh, and change it to a wire that uh, the the pin is not this thick or I can just solder uh, to a correct pin so this way this pin will go into that analog log, log uh, terminal A0 of uh, the, this Arduino Uno board. This is actually a clone, a Chinese made a clone. Uh, it's not an official Uno board but it works just fine. And then uh, my yellow uh, signal wire from the servo motor was actually connected to the digital pin number 9 there because that's what the knob program is programmed. Okay, so there you have it, uh, and uh, I have some modification to do, and, uh, um, you know, it's getting one step closer, and, uh, and you can see I got wire extended it, so this way I don't have to stay in the back of my boat to control this. The only thing is I need to pop this into uh, forward and neutral, uh, reverse, and that's it, the gear, and I don't need to use this and the other thing I want to do is I want to connect I want to drill a hole here connect this um, to the to my major or to my main 90 horsepower so this way I can turn this thing around using my steering boat steering wheel as you can see here you know so that's gonna use the force here but with a cable connected, a steel cable connected, a steel rod connected from here, this this outboard kicker motor to my Johnson 90 horsepower, the big motor. So that's what uh, the project is. Okay? So please subscribe and thank you for watching. There you have it. Um, servo motor.